I've been putting in for this tag for 16 years. And we, I kind of figured I had a good chance of, of drawing the tag this year, either this year or next year. And you know, you dream about, I have anyway, ever since, you know, the, the mid 80s when I started elk hunting, you always dream about getting a big bull. This is the Big Bull, Big Bull Camp 2021. After 16 years, finally drew the tag. I got three of the, the Northern Utah's best guides taking me up tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go and shoot that big sucker that we got tied to a tree up there. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be awesome. And she's just about, mm -hmm. so. To see the people that knew middle, of me, yeah, middle, that were friends of right you guys, middle, that would just volunteer to, to come and to, <laughs> to come and spot, <laughs> to come and spot. Cause, <laughs> thanks, Clint. <laughs> thanks, Ori, Joe. But yeah, the, on the opener, the, the opening morning. I mean, they had they had. They had canopies set up, and it looked like they were having a, a neighborhood carnival up on this hillside where, where they were spotting for elk. I mean, it was incredible, and, and the whole day they sat there spotting all day long, didn't they? Yeah. The wife's made us lunch. Yeah. That was good. That was way cool. All the kids were out playing and stuff. It, I mean, it was almost like a neighborhood party. It was That was so cool. I went out shooting last week and 400 yards I pinged it first time, 600 yards I pinged it first time. Yeah, that's good. And 800 yards I'm about a foot short. Well then, foot low. Just don't get too um too. Uh, I'm not gonna have it? I'm not gonna have too my bullets. <laughs> what? Josh and Nate are he, taking my bullets. Wait a minute, you gotta have at least one. Uh yeah. You're right. not allowed to have one. No. They said, they said, Dad, you're not allowed to shoot unless we okay it. What, what, well, what if they're not with you? I mean, they're going to shoot some of the guns. I got to have somebody with me all the time. Get up. Stay on this side of the road. We'll be good. Yo, yo. Yeah. Hey, it's nine nice o'clock. Let's see how long it takes us to get up there. Hour plus. Yep. Midnight camp, nothing like it. Well, here we are. We got a nice moon out in the woods. Beautiful. Getting dust ponies ready for the hike. <laughs> Morning. Where's it's breakfast? It's <laughs> oh yeah. I take steak and eggs, please. Just the IHOP up the road. Medium rare, large glass of milk, and a few Excedrin to wash it down with. There's breakfast right there. Riding in the dark. Hoping in the morning. Slept for four hours about. We should be spry all day. Sun coming up. Fun, huh? Another hour we should have a bull down. What do you think, Charlie?
Everyone got enough water? Where'd Nate go? Is Hardy down there? Probably. An elk right down the bottom starts bugling. Mm -hmm. And it was not quite light yet. So we sat there and listened to him bugle all the way down the canyon. <laughs> and he disappeared. Had one down in the bottom and he scooted down. Keep waiting for him to come out the bottom. Once we drop in that shithole. You're committed. Over here. They're on this base, but down. Near the bottom. So clear down here. Mm-hmm. But he said they're the ones you need to go after. But if you can't go after them, you can't go after them. We, we were just, repelling. We were <laughs> yeah. off the side of the hill. <laughs> Literally. Into the oak brush. We were, we were walking down the ridge line, and that way we could kind of keep an eye on two different canyons that we were hunting. And <laughs> got down it, and they were bugling. They were, I mean, they were, they were bugling all around us. In fact, the canyon over from us, was it, you, you spotted it? Somebody yeah. spotted a, a small six, wasn't he? Yeah, it was, was five by Was it five? I think he might have been a six on one side, but he's just a five. Yeah, he was at 300 yards or something. But it wasn't what we were looking for, especially on opener. Bugling, raking the trees. Oh yeah. Causing all sorts of people. Yeah, so we walked down the ridge and then dropped down into some aspens and that's where and it started raining then. Mm -hmm. And it was starting to get kinda of mucky and muddy. But that's where the fire we had them all around us. It's like we were right in the middle of them. Do we go down the ridge further still and then drop in? Yeah, so we started going up the bottom and um, pretty open. It's kind of like a canopy 
in the bottom. You can see 80, 90, 100 yards, depending on what direction you're looking. It's kind of a canopy, kind of steep canyon walls on the side. Um, one side's kind of quakies and pines and, and scrub oak on the other side once you get out of this little canopy. And, and you know, we're walking through there and, and we take a little breathing break and get some water in us. <laughs> And Josh was, you know, 15 yards ahead of me, and it was about simultaneously we both looked at each other and went, "That's a shooter." <laughs> that bull turned his head, and his whole uh, right side was broken after the second What's point right? on That's his main, right. on his left side, yeah. <laughs> and he snapped right off. And he turned, and we both, uh, Josh and I, I think again, were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Broken main beam!" And it, you know, and and so then we just kind of sat and watched him, and he was, he was a monster. He's one's that, one of those bulls that you look at and kind of dream of, and mm -hmm. and hope that he would have had a left and a right side. <laughs> <laughs> Josh said, yeah, we're going to get up on top and it's going to start raining again. And we all laughed about it. Well, and I, I started it with, man, this could be nice. We're going to be able to get up to the top, dry out our clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah, have a nice look. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be nice and sunny and dry out. And then Josh says that and he goes, Oh crap. <laughs> no, and so too late. Couldn't yeah. take it back. So we went up the hill in the sun. Go for it. Got up on top and we were starting to kind of get our lunch lunch together and sit on these rocks where we could overlook the canyon that we just walked up. And <laughs> all of a sudden it starts just lightly sprinkling. And we're all looking at each other going, uh, we probably ought to leave. Damn it, Josh, you said it. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Yep. We all jump on, and by the time we got on our horses, it literally it was raining sideways. The wind was blowing so hard, lightning and thunder all around us. That made me dang nervous, because, I mean, we're right on the ridge. We're right on the top of the ridge. And it cleared up really nice, and we anyway, we ended up just going back to camp, breaking camp, and heading out. said yeah I think it's a sow and two cubs and sure enough one cub came out and then the next one came right after that it was pretty cool to sit there and watch them for a little bit they were what 100 100 yards away yeah, from that, oh, yeah. That, yeah. probably not even that so, yeah. yeah that sow kept looking down at those cubs and we're kind of like we know they're in there somewhere but we couldn't see them and Riley, go grab one yeah <laughs> <laughs> push them out of there come on farful Just one small portion of the shenanigans we've had to deal with. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Hi. Hi. What are we doing here, kids? Looking for elk. <laughs> And eating pie. Yeah, do nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here, got something for you. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> Day two. We're gonna hike our butts off today and find a big bull. Right? What do you say, Muffin Man? <laughs> it's hard to choke down a muffin at this time of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yep. say, another Muffin Man? <laughs> 45 minutes. Man, 
hell did you say, boy? <laughs> Yeah, it's about 27 pounds on here. It's about 27 pounds, for crap's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here's a massive go Alright, grab that camera, please. Just stash it. No. Huh? No. Why? Because we're not coming back. Yeah, we are. No. We're going to shoot something right up on top, and we got to come right back down this way. Okay. I like the way you look. Me too. Huh? Nice. What? What are those for? What? Strobe light. To confuse your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> because you have a seizure while you're fucking. <laughs> to weed out the weaklings in your pack. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's epileptic. <laughs> Leave Bill in the trees. <laughs> Man, everybody's on point today. <laughs> scary, ain't it? 2021. Somewhere near Scipio. Yes, yeah, yes. We don't want that way. We want this way. <laughs> so when you forget your glasses, and you have no flashlight, stick like blind people this is a rock about two feet in circumference and to your right so far we've heard two one up high and one down low down to that lone pine tree that's yeah. on the inside if we sat you on that face you know <laughs> you and Josh and then like Jason and I go up this bump over these two canyons go up and go down through there most likely they're gonna go through where that big bull did that one day down and, here yeah or up there no down through that little saddle yeah. and then you'd be able to shoot through there, or if you got a glimpse of them on this hillside, or some miracle. This, just inside of these quakies right here is where we saw those elk on Saturday. Really? They were just all laying down right there in that side. It 
ちなんでよ<笑> Yeah, you get in the bushes by yourself and the scary things come out <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's going to jump out from underneath a log, do you? <laughs> There's not an elk in here. I don't think we saw an elk that day. We did. didn't. <laughs> we, day. We, we heard a few, we but we... That day we spent a lot of time looking for the other half of that other <laughs> elk. Yeah, that's right. And an elk brush. up just wait until dark and walked out the canyon that was kind of that was pretty that was much the it eventful Monday. yeah that was the eventful monday kind of was a, a sucky day so then we we decided on <clears throat> monday night that tuesday morning we would jump in the truck and just go driving some of the dirt roads that we know um, one of Nate's buddies said that surprisingly enough that you see quite a few right up that way. Space. So yeah. we jumped in a truck and Real took low. off. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> so we jump in the truck, and Nate's going Mach 90 down this dirt road. And just <laughs> so get up to him, and yeah, 1,200 yards away. Yeah. 1,200 acre, 1,200 yards. Cause you're there it your is. Good hell. <laughs> I had him zoomed in. He's the only thing in. Had to talk with Dad about. Well, he, he yeah. <laughs> Dad, Dad was very adamant. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I said, Do you do you want a do you want a 330 ball? Well, uh, and he kind of ho hummed about it around. And well, let's just go after him and see what happens. I said, Well, if we go after him, we're gonna be shooting him. Like we're that's the plan. Yeah. Like and so he's like, Well. Uh, and I say, if you don't want a 330 bowl, we're not gonna go. And he goes, okay, I don't want a 330 bowl, and so and that's not going then we're not going. <laughs> it only took four seconds of binos <laughs> while driving. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> four seconds. Here, <laughs> 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 you wipe your mouth. I'm good. <laughs> Are you good? Don't film me, ass. <laughs> hey, rock his belly. That's all I need to know. So if I have a rock, with big antlers at 208 yards, we're good. I'm glad we did that. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. 
then we went up and uh, took the four wheelers and crammed up on two four wheelers and <laughs> four of us on two four, four wheelers <laughs> with all the gear and camera dude here with all of his stuff and <laughs> you know and <laughs> the road's not the best as you know we described even going up this other little road and get up there and saw another we saw spike and saw another another rag, rag horn. Yep. it's crazy that some big balls can let that little dinky five push them around I mean, we were <clears throat> sitting there and had our spot and scopes, and we were kind of watching this face. And I had my spot and scope turn back the opposite direction and of a little spot I knew of, and <clears throat> and I said, "My goodness, you got to be kidding me! Another elk!" And they all were like, "Oh yeah, what? Well, another five point?" And I was like, "No, it's a freaking shooter!" <laughs> and they all went, "What? What? What? What?" You know, and we, we turned. Seen an elk in days, so. We <laughs> A shooter in days, I guess. Yeah, all these these guys started salivating and <clears throat> got their scopes all turned around and looked and we watched him and Dad was chomping at the bit. We had about 40 minutes left to light and and four hour ride on a four wheeler to get to him. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna. You think we can? No. You think we can? Let's, no. let's go. Let's go. And I'm like, no, there's no way. He's not going anywhere. He just sat there and raked and raked and. There's, oh, there's kind of like a dirtish maybe kind of yeah thing. he's not quite there or is he past <clears> that <throat> he's almost there okay he's like 10 yards from there what kind of plan awesome. now, okay. now I just got a bit of a sleep tonight <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's not getting caught. It would try to kick over, but it's not even kicking over. How does stuff keep disappearing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? You have a flashlight? I think you need a license to help me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see that flashlight. Is it in your hoodie? Better check to make sure it's not on. <laughs> oh, it's, it is. There's so much retard in this tent. <laughs> Let me tie down the earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swallow it. <laughs> I got so many bad words to say. This is a family show. <laughs> you brought a beanie, right? <laughs> I was wearing it. sitting on a lookout spot over while we were trying to head over to Berryport anyway. We saw this big bull and glassed him up and came up with a plan that we'd be there this morning before light. Go down and he should be in this same general area. It's a real nice six by six. So that's what we're doing. We're going after him.
down. He just crashed. No way, that's him. Holy, that's him. Holy, you died. Busted on this fourth. No way. Grab that <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my heck. Grab that head. Yes. <laughs> Pose for us. Holy crap, I cannot believe this. Look at the mass on this guy. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Things a tank, Dad. It is a hog. Oh my gosh. That's a big bull. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> God. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh my heck, look at the mass all the way up. Look at this, Nate. No ground shirt to do with this, brother. Look at this. <laughs> Josh came and get him. Oh, wow. Look at that, he slid clear down. He hit those trees up there and slid clear down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is one heavy sucker. Look at these. Now curl up. These forests are long. Okay, he curls up on this back one. 
<laughs> that was the awesome. one that I could see. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? Oh look, my gosh. Look. Look. There's no way. Oh, this is gonna look good in the trophy sock. <laughs> oh, this can look dang sweet in the trophy sock. Go! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> big ball! Big, big ball! ball yeah! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. What are you gonna do with all your money? <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's huger than huge. The mass on him on the bases. You can't fit both your hands around me. Are you for real? Yeah, oh, and all the way. I mean, wow. clear to the clear to the six point is mass. The fifth has mass going right up to the point. I mean, it's just crazy. So is he over three thirty? Oh yeah. <laughs> Might be three thirty five. <laughs> he didn't shrink. <laughs> Can you cut this horn off so it's not so big in the way? No. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Where's your hiking sticks? Holy smokes. Hey, by the time you get back, we'll have another one for you. Okay. This one, the back one. Yeah, that's your warm up. That's your pre workout. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah. Hey, there would be no getting that razor down that trail. No way. No. We would have left you on up top and just shuttled meat. Well, you know what I like about this? Is you just picked a really flat spot to shoot him. Because <laughs> everything else goes straight to Hades. <laughs> yep. Good job, brother. Big, huh? Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, instead of getting littler when we walked up to him, he got bigger. <laughs> no ground shrinkage. Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Nice, nice, nice. Oof. Uh, Stargate Captain's Log 4810. Uh, Dad's gonna try to carry the cape out by his little tiny self. <laughs> Just stand there. Mm -hmm. Look pretty. Put your arms in. Like super tight, Dad. Well, On those. I can't because what they're are you... not letting me lean forward. <laughs> you want to? Keep... Okay. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. Holy hell! <laughs> Quit leaning on it, Nate. I'm not. <laughs> no one's touching You've okay. got to be freaking kidding me. I am. No. I'm about to end up. End now up. these, pull, pull on these. Suck them down tight. Well, that's a whole lot better. Yeah. Okay. Just get what the hell out of my way. I'm going. God. I thought you were going that way. This way. No, oh, I told him go up this oh, way, okay. then this way. I'll let him go for a while by himself. So you can get some good pictures. <laughs> okay, stop talking for just a second, would you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! I got this. You got something. Turn left! <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, shit. holy hell, that's got to be 150 pounds. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> Can I look like I'm... Dude, it looks so much bigger. <laughs> It looks like you're killing, killing it, Dad. Just killing. Yeah. You are killing it. Just stand there and take the weight like a champ. <laughs> I, I, I'm a big believer that the reason we got that big bull was because we put the time in. I mean, we didn't see this bull specifically before the hunt, but all the preparation that we did that went into this hunt was I mean, we've got hundreds and hundreds of hours, I think, into that, into that hunt. 
I could have got a spike and would have had an absolute blast. That's why we because took the bullets. <laughs> 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 Hence the name. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> no, really. I, to me, this is this what it was all about, to have the opportunity to spend a week with, with my boys. And these two are my... my sons but so are these two and i love the fact that all five of us just love to hunt and we can't wait until september and october june. and uh, june, yeah. <laughs> june when we when we <laughs> yeah but to me, that's what that's what made this. You know, I had the opportunity. Uh, I actually, I have been putting in for a few years in a whole different area, clear out on the east side of the state. And this year, when I kind of figured I was going to have a a chance to get my tag, I kind of sat down with my wife and and went, you know, do I really want to go clear out there? Because if I do, who's going to be able to go with me? And are we going to be able to spend the time glassing and and spotting and preparing like we need to and we kind of decided that no we wouldn't be able to do that and and so i i put in for right here where we have been hunting for the last 15 years we know the area we know there's big bulls in there not as many as there used to be but we i i think we were extremely blessed to be able to i, I want to say luck but i don't think it's luck because we all of us put in the time we put in the hours to hunt. We didn't see this bull that, that we ended up getting before the hunt, but I, I just think that's a culmination of the, the hard work we put in. And like I say, to share that with the kids, with my boys, is that's what it was all about. That's what made it even better. Mm -hmm.